Welcome again to our warm class today, and we'll be talking about dominant passing chords. Dominant passing chords are among the chords that you really have to know and to learn them because they're amazing. Without wasting much time, let's dive into the lesson. Welcome to the keyboard view, and today, as I had introduced earlier, we're going to look at the flat seven passing when you want to make a movement towards the second degree of any key. Now, I'm going to illustrate that from the key of C major. And when I'm talking about C major, this is what I'm talking about, all right? Now, in that triad, we have a C, E, and G, which makes a C major triad. Now, you might have heard guys or pianists playing like this. an intrication of this flat seven chord. A flat seven chord, as I had introduced in my previous video, the best way to play it is when you have to identify the root note, like for example, or for instance, in our case, we are playing from the key of C. This is our root note right there. So if you move forward two semitones, when you're here, you move one, two, this second note here, we flatten C twice. When you flatten the C twice, you get the B flat note here. Okay? Now the B flat major looks like this. This is a B flat major chord, which we're going to use as a passing chord when we are playing any piece of music in, in gospel fraternity. So the way we play this chord right here, from here. So the movement will be like, okay? Now, there are two chords that I'm going to modify here so that they do not have to sound like a major sound. Like for example, now this is a C major. I'm just playing the second inversion, the first inversion, sorry, right there. So when I move to this chord right here, <coughs> sorry. When I move to the B-flat passing chord here, what I'm going to do, I am going to bring this second degree of this, this third degree of the B-flat, so one, two, three, this third degree of the B-flat note to my left hand here. So it was not like this. Okay? And now I'm going to maintain this note when I go to the three, so this is. You see that? So what I did, I did. So this third degree note on the scale of C major chord, of major scale, I'm going to bring it to my left. So I'm going to play like this. that so all right sorry for that so what I simply did I introduced two <coughs> passing chords towards the four <coughs> my my initial my initial intention was to the four so I want to come here So how can I now apply this method on any song? Like now, take for example, Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart cry. All right, so on. So now you see how this chord is playing a vital work or a vital job towards that. 
Now, I'm going to modify those two chords so that they sound something sweeter than this. So what I'm going to do when I get to my third degree, when I get to my third degree, I'm going to maintain this. No, so. What did I do? I just maintained my flat seven chord. Sorry. for this one and add this one like this so the best way to sound it just pick the third degree on the left and the one here and maintain this okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to pick this flat seven and I'm going to pick these three and I'm going to play them with my left hand and I'm going to pick this one and this no, this way I'm not going to play because I already have it here and this five. So they're going to sound like this. So. This chord now plays a vital um, job in now introducing this newness. Now, we really need to practice this concept for you to get it and for you to become good at it. I really had to practice so that I had to break away from the major sounding of these chords. Now, a second pa passing chord I would like to introduce, uh, the flat three. This chord note right here. Is an E flat or a D sharp note. So when I am on any key, I'm using a C major because it's the easiest. Now remember the E flat note is the third degree of an of a C minor scale. One, two, three. This note here is a relative minor to a C because it is in the scale of a C minor scale. Okay, so we're going to use this note, this note here, when we want to come to A2, like for example, uh, like now. Okay, what did I do? I just played this. This is a two. So I'm just playing it as a, as, a, as a major triad so that we will begin to do the modification later. So this. So we, we, there is a song that says, um, Oh Lord my God, when I I just applied this beautiful, uh, this beautiful flat three chord here as a whole major triad, so that I could land to my two. Now let me show you a trick when you're landing to a two. This is a two. Remember, a two is a relative minor to the fourth degree. It can work as a replacement for the. Four. Okay, just to give you that emotional sounding. If you want to have an emotional sounding, every time you play a four, do a minor four, or do a 
a major two with a nine on it. With a nine on it. All right? Now, let me show you that trick. Like, consider I'm, it's, I'm, it's like I'm playing an, an F minor together with the six. I'm sorry, together with the six. So this, so what I'm doing, I'm going to flatten the five so that this will be an F diminished seven chord. So this is like. Seven, but it's like a half of it because I'm not playing this fifth degree here, but I can just bring it in right there because it results very well to a one. Okay, so I'm gonna like, like now another song. so that I could feel those gaps. Like, Like this one, like, 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 careful when you're observing this concept because you really have to be so good in timing so that you you introduce this uh, flat three to the toward the two now another chord the last chord I'd like to introduce now is a flat six is a flat six flat six or a, or a sharp five like for example on a key of C this is the fifth degree which is a G this is when you sharpen this G you will get the G sharp note right there when you go ahead this is the sixth degree just an a if you flatten it you'll get an a flat note right there so together as a major chord it sounds like this right this is the, the root this is the second this is the first inversion this is the root second inversion then the third inversion together all right now when you're on the five from from the C major scale and you're the six. When you invoke this note right here, it is what we call a chromatic passing. Now, start singing this.
this quote is not used mostly, but you, if you listen to jazz guys, mostly the jazz cat guys, you will always hear them use or employ this collage. <laughs> chord when I want to insinuate a five in the sound of a one. Okay, this is a five, but I'm playing it, but I'm playing it, I'm voicing it in the sounding of a one. So that it will sound like a G together with each four. Good example of a song. Uh, there is a Swahili song. Many Guys, always practice these things. You, another thing I would like really to leave you with, practice your scale so that you'll be able to know the numbers. Okay, in my next video, I'm going, I'll be assisting the f -sharp brothers. The f -sharp brothers, I know the East African guys really love this chord. The G flat, okay? So in my next video, I'm really going to do a tutorial on this chord on this chord, on how to use exactly what I've done. Like, Many